hello traders welcome back to my channel this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys this amazing uh, way of analyzing the charts where we able to you know forecast a lot of peeps into the future we use trend lines we use uh you know um, what we call channels and then we can combine series of factors together to get very high probability entries in the same terms we are going to be focusing you know currency pairs how they are going to be moving this week so you want to watch to the end so that you don't miss a single minute right so okay traders welcome to my channel i am full kingsley by the grace of god i bring to you guys strategies tutorials on the forex market volatility indices metals like gold nasdaq vix 75 many other instruments you want to subscribe to your channel by hitting on the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss out. let's begin with you know us dollar japanese yen all right now if you look at us dollar japanese yen uh, you know we move to the bigger time frame that's where we are going to you know see, look at our overall trend right so basically you are going to see we have you know a good uptrending market okay so in the daily time frame we have a good trending market and we are going to be looking for better entries right so you can see there we have you know impulsive moves and pullbacks okay so if you look at it really now from the h4 time frame that is our defining you know time frame that defines our trend right so we have price you know currently in a pullback phase now if you look at it you can use your trend line okay from here just from the information you get from here you're going to see that you can use your trend line and then you connect as price pull back because we know very well that price you know once it pulls back it creates the next impulsive move so basically we are going to be using some tools that will determine whether the pullback is over or not so we connect from this lows right we drop through to get our touches because that's going to act as our diagonal support right so right now you see that price has actually rejected once twice thrice and this is the fourth time all right so for a typical trend line trader this would be a buy setup already and that could be you know like that and that will give something like this okay that will give a high risk to reward ratio okay so in another hand someone who is considering maybe uh, demand and supply can have two confluences already because right now we have this to be actually a demand zone here okay this is a demand zone and price has tapped 50 percent of this demand zone which is here and then if there anything we are stop loss here with a take profit there that would be a good risk to reward ratio so we have already you know three confluences in place which can give a high probability entry setup right so you can also use you know i uh, maybe a parallel channel tool and then you just plot the two sides so that it can also help you to you know target and all of that so you might just want to do something like this and then you drop up okay so it's actually going to plot it out for you just look at that guys you look at the uniformity so you can see that from that information this high probability that price could respect because actually price is moving within this channel here or it's moving within this you know channel and you know it could move something like that sometimes right so it could equally break down as well maybe grab liquidity below that zone okay and then just have to play around with stop losses here then before finally moving up right so that is a possibility and that is also based on the small time frame. so on a top down analysis you can also go to the h1 time frame and then wait for what confirmation here right because price has rejected in this zone which is also a demand zone a trend line a good entry zone you can also wait for maybe a pattern maybe look for something like a double bottom pattern and then you wait for breakout to be buying or you wait for a change of character right so you wait for a change of character for price to close above this zone here and then come back to the zone then you now buy right that's for the confirmation if you don't want to be aggressive just to enter exactly when you get that uh if that move right so that is how you can do your analysis and then be able to focus many pips and then you get a good risk reward ratio you are combining many factors together all right and the other people can still enter based on what breakout some people can still consider this to be a pattern or let me say a flag pattern okay now they might want to connect like this okay like that and then connect like that okay and then wait for price to break out from here so that it should be like it's a flag pattern 
all right we have price reject here okay and it comes back so we have this to be consolidation which is what a pullback phase and then maybe wait for price to move there and then break out from the pattern and then they will be entering based on that okay so there are many ways in which you can enter and i will give you the possibilities that price could you know you can also catch very good moves so you can do this analysis on all sort of markets guys all right so let's look at another pair let's look at maybe a uh, uh, euro us dollar price is also in an uptrend as you can see there right so if you look at maybe in the h4 time frame you are going to see you know a possibility like that a h4 time frame we have price price actually is in a transition price just transited from an uptrend to a down away from a downtrend to an uptrend after creating lower lows and lower highs what happened price reached a point and breakthrough so a book structure and then came back now which tested and then started creating what higher highs right and right now price is creating higher highs so basically we will not actually you know connect and they will be waiting for price to pull back because now price is not at a pullback phase price is actually as at, at an impulsive phase right now okay so we can use our parallel channel like that okay we just connect okay so right now we connect you see that it's going to plot out the below zone for us and it also give a very good uh, opportunity if price happens to pull back to this zone here which also happens to be a you know a demand zone so we have two demand zones here right so we have this first demand zone here which is this okay price could come and induce here you know grab liquidities and it will also be nice if price pull back to this uh, zone here a major demand zone which is this one below and then this will be good to have you know a buy setup so this could happen like that and then boom all right so price will come induce people to buy in come grab all the liquidity and then come and tap to the main zone and then hit higher so that is how you look at work but now you can also remember you can always look for confirmations you drop to smaller time frame right you look forward confirmations you look for maybe if price happens to pull back there are times where price can still pull back around this zone here and as you just get rejected and then move up right so there are times where price could still pull back right down here and if it happens to do that then you can still wait for maybe confirmation right price might pull back like this all right and then when you pull back and tap to this zone here what you do is you can wait for a break of structure okay price break structure come back and there's a zone now you enter there right and then you want to target this zone here so you can this channel something will you know help us what will help us our target zones and all of that right so that is basically how you can analyze using you know this kind of analysis and then you'll be able to you know catch good trading setups where you have double confirmations you have many factors that have been put in place to you know catch those you know beautiful moves okay so basically that is for euro us dollar now we have gold last week we had a good up move we did a forecast on our telegram channel you know the link to our telegram channel is in this video's description below and if you want to join you just need to click on the video's description or pin comment and then you join all right so if you look at my charts very well we had a major news last week which was the non-farm payroll we actually did this and before the non-farm payroll we had already forecasted that price was going to pull back to this major zone here which is a was a major demand zone as well as a major support which we identified in the daily time frame for people who are following up videos in this channel should know exactly what i'm saying because we did an analysis on this and we actually identified this to be a major resistance zone that price broke through so at that time we were doing analysis price was up here and we were still to pull back and i said it would be better if price pull back and rejects in this zone okay when it pulls back and reject here we are going to look for entries in smaller time frame and price did just that it came down and rejected around the zone that was also a demand and you know we actually uh i uh, saw the move all right so if i um, don't forget i'm going to drop i know put a link to the that particular video in this so that you can also watch and you see so what happens is that price came now tap here and then create a double you know something like a double bottom and then actually headed higher all right and you see now that price is moving up and it's creating highs so basically right now we have more possibilities right to be looking more of long shots but actually this move will be better if we enter at the earlier stage which is far down here meanwhile here we can still identify this 
zoom here you can see how i've plot them out and then we wait for this pull back here even in the 15 minute time frames you can still be catching setups all right so i'm, I'm just analyzing generally and if you follow up my analysis my videos very well in the channel you'll be able to do analysis like i'm doing and you'll be able to you know many times focus the money the market right so you will not be a hundred percent right every time because there's no strategy like that in the world but most times you'll be able to win that is how you can that is the essence of actually winning so price could still come like this and this could be a good buy uh, our trading setup so we have seen the view we always move to a bigger time frame we see the bigger view we drop to smaller time frame and then we see the smaller view all right and how we can enter so we are looking for buys now because we have what correlation of you know what is happening in smaller time frame that is also being you know the same thing that is happening in the bigger time frame price is reacting from a very key zone that was rejected in d1 which was like a break and a retest okay and a support a resistance and support and you no know, price could possibly move so this long candle was a result of a news event that we identified last week and uh that was the non farm payroll that was released and that led to this very strong move here and you know price has been moving there so we have this possibility so that is how you know you can possibly do your analysis you know analyze your your forex pairs you'll be able to analyze your indices volatility 75 boom and crash and all of that okay and you'll be able to have you know double confidences double complex and means you able to combine many things in your favor all right and then be able to forecast the market accurately many of the times so we have you know we have a, a, a gpj here right so gpj has just broken through his zone which is also a key zone here okay we look at this and we probably have a transition as well from an uptrend probably to or from a downtrend probably to an uptrend so we have almost the same thing all right we had a very strong up move there and then there's a possibility that price could start creating higher highs and now what we are doing we are going to identify these are demand zones here and i will be expecting that price should be coming back to retest these zones here if that if the uptrend is going to hold okay this uptrend is going to hold right though for gpu we have never confirmed an uptrend all right though we have seen price created higher high so we would like price to probably come back and then okay here and they will be looking for price if price happens to create new highs then that will be great and they will be looking for further entries and you can also go to a small time frame as well and they will still be able to identify small small zones and they will plot that using maybe our trend lines use our other tools and we our fibonacci and all of that and they will be catching more so that is how to do your analysis and catch very accurate more so thank you for watching if you find the video helpful please i want to see it. just give me a thumbs up click on the thumbs up button make Make sure that you like the video subscribe to this channel if this is your first time coming across this channel see you in the next video